you know, if you're like me, you're probably getting tired of all this, uh, being cooped up, having our lives just kind of turned over. You know, for some of us, it's more severe than for others. Some of us is just an inconvenience. Um, and you know, there's there's this urge to just, let's just get life back to normal. Well, I'm not sure there is gonna be uh, normal for a while. I don't even know what normal is gonna look like. But I, I do know that the fruit of the Spirit is something that it will be helpful to us right now. The, the fruit of the Spirit is something that the Spirit of God produces in our hearts. It flows out of us. It, it manifests itself in attitudes and behaviors that the people can see, but it's something that comes from the inside as we rely on the Holy Spirit and, and God's, uh, what God has done for us transforms us from the inside out. And I think the fourth one, there's, there's nine of them, the fourth one today is, is just, it's helpful for me because it's the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, and today it's patience. Patience. And I stinking hate patience. <laughs> I don't have patience. I'm not a patient person by nature. Like I, I, wanna, I wanna do stuff, I don't wanna be held back, and I wanna, I wanna do it now. None of this waiting around. Not good. But the fruit of the Spirit is patience. Because the, the Spirit in me that says, you know what, I want what I want and I want it now, that is, that is so turned inward on itself. That's so upside down. It's so about me and not about what God is doing in the world. It's not trusting Him that He is sovereign and in control, that He's both powerful and good, like I talked about yesterday. But it's, it's just demanding my way and, and wanting it now. You know, at the, at the root of it, it's, it's the childish kind of thing. So, man, I think through this, God is, God is probably increasing our patience. He's teaching us to wait. He's teaching us to run to Him. Uh, and to rest. So that's that's part of my prayer today. And I, I just also invite you. It's Thursday today, and I'm I'm gonna do a little fasting. Some of you reached out to me and said, "Hey, Seth, your fasting is kind of weak sauce." It is kind of weak sauce. Um, true story. You know, maybe I'll maybe I'll get to to be better at fasting later on. But just invite you to fast and pray with me for our world, uh, for the coronavirus that's going on. I, I'd also ask you to fast and pray with me for the Flemings. Just as uh, as we are, um, you know, wanting to love them well, let's let's do that. And and the other thing, I just invite you to fast and pray for me for the youth of our country, for our children, and our youth. Last night I, I hung out a little bit with the high schoolers and the junior hires as they were meeting in youth group. And man, that's just a that's just a tough age group. You know, so much has been taken away from them right now. And Pray with me that God would do a work in, in them. He, he is, he is active, but just pray that he would continue and that we would know what our part could be.